What's up, animators, and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful manware tips within 5 minutes. Today I want to show you how to make a rim light in my animator. Let's begin. I've got the scene ready, you know I ain't giving up on my mountain schematic, and I want to give this guy a rim light. I've got the default lighting set up, let's begin. So naturally you want to add a spotlight, right? Put it behind him, and I'll just blast the c with light. <laughs> I think he used to work this way, but not anymore. So I think the next logical step would be to, you know, make the character bleed light. Oof! Let's reduce this, and as you can see, if you reduce the range, it does actually create a sort of like a rim light effect. From here we can do is go into the settings and in the shadow properties just put the shadow blur quality down so you have like really straight edges. I think it's better if I just turn the sunlight off. I am getting a little bit of a rim light over there. Now if I increase the range you can see the rim light is being shown on the character. If I move around nothing's happening right? Uh, only when the lights move the rim lights also move. You gotta adjust the lighting for every shot individually but as you can see, the rim light does work. So if I try to give this a color, this is actually pretty sweet. Rim lights are the best looking lights in my opinion. There is no way you can argue with me about that. If you just duplicate this, uh, it doesn't have a stronger effect, never mind. So now, one way people improve the quality of this, because as you see, uh, I've got jagged edges here, because Oblivion's head is not perfectly cubical. It's got imperfections, this is why this thing is here. A way people get around this is by putting everything in a folder and scaling it up by a few times. I'm just gonna put it up to three times, now I gotta find the whole scene. There we go, oh boy. <laughs> Because of my rig's functionality, I gotta adjust a few settings individually to fix it. And because of the scale, you gotta adjust all this. Where's the rim light? Oh, I didn't turn it on, I'm stupid. You gotta adjust this. And that's pretty much it. Your rim light is back with a slightly higher quality. If you wanna emphasize this effect, you gotta use some lighting tips from my previous videos. Just, you know, contra- Brightness. Did I turn off camera effects for some reason? Yeah, I did. Boom. Put the sky down, clouds down, ambience down, and all of a sudden it's way more intense. Fun tip, you can also add multiple of these, given different values, like different ranges is gonna affect your objects differently, so if you do this, it's obviously just gonna be overburned, but you know, you can play around with stuff. And with that, I'm done for today. Thank you for watching, hope you learned a thing or two. If you did, smash like, hit bell. <laughs> Thanks for watching, stay sharp.